Welcome to Business Ethics. Hello, we have, we have a few people on a lifeboat and somebody on a lifeboat on FaceTime, wave. Oh, uh, he hung up, he don't wanna be on it. All right, so we're, we're in class and we're gonna do this role play exercise. You guys are hungry, tired, seasick, the sun's beating down on you, and the, the, the dead bodies, they're just dead bodies on the side because they didn't make it in the lifeboat. And now, we're like a little seasick, everybody go like this a little bit, move side to side, like we're on this lifeboat, we're on this lifeboat. I'm on a lifeboat too. I'm on a lifeboat too. I'm, I'm the captain of the ship that sank, and we all got on this lifeboat. There's only room, there's really, this lifeboat is over capacity right now. There's too many of us, all right? And now you like, now we're gonna, now we're gonna play, okay? Ready? A storm is coming. Women and children first. I'll be a man though. <laughs> Only three of us, three or four of us at most can stay on this boat. The rest of you, we have to, you have to go over and die in order for us three to live. <laughs> You're the kid? Yeah. All right. Well, well, I mean, if the boat survives. We got to throw, we got to, some people throw, some people got to throw themselves over. The storm is going to come. Otherwise, all of us are going to die. All of us are going to die if we don't do something about it. The little kid goes first. Straight up. <laughs> but we survive. We go to the desert. I don't, he can't go to the tree. He might got knocked down the tree. Here. Sorry. You want to throw the little kid over? <laughs> Anybody <laughs> object to him throwing the little kid over? Everybody on this boat is okay with the little kid being thrown over. Okay, voice your opinion. I'm not throwing him over. Who's going? He's gonna go overboard. I'm not for that. Is that it? No, there's no. Okay, we're going over. He's staying on the boat. He's staying. He's staying. You guys, because you gotta get off the storm is gonna come. The little kid goes first. The little kid goes first. Okay, I'm not throwing him over. I'm not for that. Is that it? No, there's no. Okay, we're going over. He's staying. He's staying. You guys, you gotta get off. The storm is gonna come. The whole thing is gonna topple. Who's? You guys gotta get out. We gotta light the load. You got. We got to let you have to get We're gonna drown. But we're gonna. You're gonna volunteer to jump off the boat and die. No, I'm gonna take off everything before I throw a human. <laughs> Everybody, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. You're gonna. You're gonna volunteer to get off the to kill yourself. Yeah. Trooper. <laughs> he just walked out. He's like, I'm gonna die anyway. You gonna volunteer to kill yourself? Yeah. Who's, who's okay with me killing him? I need people. I'm gonna throw him over. Nah, <laughs> let's go. What are you saying? I'm saying, nah, don't throw him over. Don't throw him over. We're all gonna die. What are you gonna do about it? I'm taking him over. He's angry. I'm sure we have like other stuff on the boat that we could throw off. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> uh, he's volunteering. He wants to go over. Salute. <laughs> Why did you go? Not really, but fuck. <laughs> you volunteer, you're gonna you go over? I'm gonna go. That's two less weight. Can you go? Can you go? Can you go? You're gonna throw out the children first? Yeah, I don't know, the, the storm is coming, so we gotta get people out. Uh, wait, 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 how about we just do black and, and white? And John's the two that are What? I'm sorry, bro. Nah, I'm saying, bro. Hey, okay, give me, give me what oh, we're gonna do. Yeah, yeah. You know the rest, but you're the one that knows what happens next. So what are we gonna do? You can, you can get the, the ultimate. Yeah. Oh no, it's rolling. Rolling? Yeah, rolling. We're, 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 we're trying to roll away from the storm and go to safety. I don't know. We're rolling. That's why. And how come we can't throw away the dead body? They're already dead. We're rolling, but they're like, they're like, their necks are like attached to the right light bulb, so they're like. Floating along with us. So we'll just use them as buoys. They are. They're like buoys, kind of, and we're just dragging them on the way. We're going to safety. The storm is coming. The storm oh, is shit. coming. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a motor this time. Alas, rescue is here to save 
us. All of us are saved. Yay. <laughs> now what happens? You saved us. You're here. Come in. You're the rescue person. You just rescued us. I did. With some water? <laughs> you do, we're in a lifeboat. You just rescued us. Okay. Okay? Mind you, I wanted to throw more than half of these people overboard in order to keep the boat stable for a few people to live. So I wanted to throw them over. Okay. I'm the captain. I was like, we're throwing some people over. A storm is coming so that th these few people can live. We have to kill some people. Do you think, do you think we killed anybody? No. We, he's right. We didn't because we rode <laughs> until you right. saved us. We rode until you saved us. These dead bodies on the side, they were dead from before. They didn't make it on the lifeboat ahead of time. So why y'all didn't throw them off? No, they were, they, their necks were like attached to the thing and they, they were just coming with us. They were just... We're yeah, cut that out. We didn't have scissors. We didn't have scissors. Darren threw the scissors overboard. Jesse wanted to throw the kid overboard. What was you doing? I was no, I'm just saying, what was the kid doing that just made you want to go overboard? Well, he would have survived if we get stuck in the line. That's true. Which I'm gonna eat his meat. I'm gonna eat him. Whoa, I'm not even gonna eat it. Whoa, this is going in all kinds of directions. I didn't think it was gonna go. Why Jonathan, not? what is gonna happen? Now we're saved, and do you remember what happened? So we're saved, and and what's gonna happen to the captain? Yes, no, uh, Joe. Right? Yeah. You gotta die with your ship. Loki, I'm mad at you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm going to jail for what? Sinking the ship? And uh, saving some of you? We're trying to kill people. No, the captain the captain gets tried for his behavior of wanting to kill some to save others. So he goes on trial for that. What kind of charge is that? But is it is it murder? Because like, are we we'll think about the times where if you want to save some people to, like know, some people have to die to save some people. So now compromising is illegal. Say that again. Compromising is illegal now. What was the compromise? We you, we just lucked you out. Want to give up some lives to save others. We were trying, I was trying, because under my impression as a captain, I thought that we needed a few of us to live, otherwise the boat was gonna topple in the storm. She was just thinking first, bro. But, you know, were there people on the boat who volunteered to possibly go over? Maybe. Were there people who were not? Were there people like Jesse saying, take them, take them first, take them first? <laughs> were there people on the boat saying, no, no, no? Mm -hmm. Fortunately, of those who were on the lifeboat, they all stayed and then they just rode and went to safety. Did you guys ever watch the movie The Mist? Mm -hmm. yes. All right, so in that movie, I'll tell you who know, what happens at the end is it's it's kind of like kind of like this. Like, do you just tough it out and just see, or do you do something? If, if you want me to give away what happens at the end of the movie, everybody okay with that? Yes. There's mists or monsters or mist or things killing people, right? And um, at the end, instead of the monsters or mist getting people, they, uh, they commit suicide. But then the mist goes away and everything is better. But they could already kill themselves. So do you duke it out? So do you duke it out? Who dukes it out? I was trying to kill people. He's trying to kill other people? You're duking it out but by killing other people. You're gonna yeah. duke it out. Meaning like you're not gonna give up, right? Who's not gonna give up? But you guys are also heroes because you're sacrificing yourself. So that's another thing. Because think of people who go to war to fight for us and people, firefighters, firefighters and police, fire, they put their, their own life at risk, right, to save other people. So that was the exercise for this class. I say, can I become a hero? Woohoo! He had perfect timing, right? He had perfect timing. What do you guys think about the exercise? What else did you ponder? Just see what comes to your mind first when something really happens. That was a split decision. Yeah, like, like, all it's like, yeah, yeah, you have to like, like come up with decisions. <laughs> <laughs> it really matter. How it so morally, did we think of other people? Did we think of ourselves before we thought of other people? We put, it was did pretty much standard. Yeah. You know, um, standards. Can I come back to life? Clear. Procedures for what? 
The, the dead people can come back to life if you want. The dead people can come back to life. Uh, yes. Hmm? The ethical standard of, of uh, your behavior. Does that yeah, if you stand over there, you're good. You're, you're back to life. Stand by um, Kenyon. All right, so like your own personal morals and values of the society you, you grew up, there's, so we are, th these were all people of the same probably society, but they could have been high class or low class all on the same boat, just like on Titanic, right? Mm -hmm. So then, you know, somebody who it maybe is a rich guy is like, chill on somebody else. Maybe he's got that ruthlessness in him. And then you could have been like the hero, you know, somebody who was already like a, a soldier. But I was expecting you had to come up, stand up more and be like, let's just row, let's just row and see what we can do. You know, because the heroes tend to obey the chain of command. So as a captain, you guys did good because heroes obey their chain of command. <laughs> you guys wanna know the, uh, do you wanna bring this into a whole other realm of chain of command? Okay, so now we're all fighting for this greatness, and I order you to kill your neighbor. <laughs> or I kill you. Yeah, what if we double team to kill you? Can't. Why can't? Why? I'm Hitler. I'm gonna kill myself at the end. Okay. This, this is where we're going with this. My is so not there me. were people who oh, were yourself. ordered, who obeyed and took orders to kill other people. Some of these people, afterwards they got tried, it was okay, because psychologically you're gonna do it, and they, like for example this captain, some of the people who were going to collect and kill people, they were following orders. They were, it's called, I was just following orders. So you can kind of get away with it if you're following orders. That's the army. The army, the, you know, the, the chain of command, and now here's the, so who's gonna follow orders? I can't remember. I can't remember. Think the story goes, um, there, there was a Greek, there was a, a Greek, uh, I think it was the Greek archbishop and another politician. And Hitler sent a letter and said, he said, or the, give us the name of all the Jews on your, on, on, in your Greek area, in that Greek area. And the Greek uh, Orthodox archbishop and this politician in Greece and this is actually a national, this is a foundation, it's called Ohi Day. It's, it's a known thing, not that many people know about it, but Ohi, O-X-I, and the X makes a H sound. Ohi means no. So they, this archbishop and this politician, they didn't write a letter back saying no, they just put their two names on the list and sent it back. And they weren't even Jews or whatever. And that was the stand, that was one of the first stands against Hitler, saying, no, we are not gonna give you the list, we're not, ain't happening, dude. It's no. Yeah, it was, huh? I said there was a lot of them. But it was, it was the leadership of those people that didn't give them away. Imagine if that leadership, like they did in other countries, started giving people away. Then all the shit that happened, happened. But some countries stood and said, no. Think about that. It's like us as a team on a basketball court. We have to say, no, we're not going to let that other team score buckets on us or hit a home run, you know? But stay strong from the beginning. Correct. And if the coach loses faith or the team captain loses faith, then everybody has <laughs> who's, who's the team captain? You're the coach? So you yeah. guys were down yeah, six yeah. 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 After your speech, though. Right. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Right there. But you see how it starts? Like, it, you could be sour. You could be, like, positive. The, the, the leaders have to stay strong to make the, to set the vibe, right? Right. And have faith. And he's like, we're going to come back. We came back. We're going to do it. Kill, kill them all one by one on the other team. He put sizzle on the mound one time. 
and he does his grandma pitch. It's so slow and awkward, but it's efficient. And they won that game. He got faith in you. It's a grandma pitch. It's so, I mean, the ball goes, and it just drops. How much harder is it if you got the people doing the right ethical thing in the masses, but the leaders are not? Picture yourself like we're all in these masses here, and there's leaders ahead, uh, leadership, right? There's all kinds of levels. How hard, is it? Is it harder or easier to implement change? Oh, harder. Harder. Because you already have influencers, these people of influence, and people already trust them, right? So if it if it's really there's a lot of responsibility. I think it was um, Spider Man's uncle. What's yeah. his name? Ben, ben. With great power comes great responsibility. Gotcha. With great influence. So if you have the influence, what you say, you can set the tone for everybody else. But if it's wrong, what you're saying, and, and you know it's wrong, because yo, he wanted to kill the kid, you know? And he's like, he's kind of standing, but he's like a little bit. Who would have really put, who would really put themselves out there to do the right thing? No. Put yourself out there. You know, there's some people who put themselves out there. Uh, who knows this vocab word, uh, Gabe? Whis is it Gabe? Yeah, Whistleblow. Yeah, did, did we just go over that? Yeah. What does that mean? Um, like the example you tell me, like you're in a company and, and you leave and then you say everything bad about them. Snitching? Or like snitching on them. Snitching. Snitching? Snitches and get snitches. But that's yeah, standing. But so, yeah. so these guys, there's people. Um, there's there's a guy named um, uh, 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 God Julian Assange, Edward Snowden. Uh, there's some Google people now. They come out and they say these things that these companies are doing. Well, the one, the biggest one of the past ten years is is that one where you, the government's spying on us. Okay. That, that, that is true. Though. It is true. You never like have a conversation and then you look at your phone and whatever you talk about, like there's Adam. So that's true. Amazon's listening. Uh, Alexa at my house. Our phones. Yeah, yes. Anything with a microphone. It, but that's marketing. That's that's potentially marketing. That's kind of crazy though. Do you, it's kind of crazy. But do you know that all you guys who has a phone? Who who owns a cell phone? Who owns a cell phone? You don't own a cell phone. You rent a cell phone. Who has a cell phone? Okay. So, I, don't I, own a cell phone. I own a cell phone. I don't own a service. Is, you own a is it ethical for you guys to check off you agree? Is it ethical that you that the shit is so long that you don't have time to really read it? And even if you read it, you don't understand what the heck it means. Oh, man. But you have to check OK in order to use your phone. Yeah. Yes. But you, we're all okay. We're all okay yeah. this yeah. marketing. Yeah. 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 First, that's why I don't. You don't? Yeah, come on, you, you no, don't. I some I don't. I don't even. If you don't check it off, you can't use your phone. What kind of phone uh, do you have? You can, oh, okay, at that point, you have phone. You have. It's just apps I don't. Certain apps. apps I, I mean, there's but certain things you can do. I can reach out to my phone. Yes, I can't get into my phone unless I do certain things. Like, uh, you can't get an iOS update, a yeah. software yeah. update. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That's what we accept. We agree to that. Yes. I don't, I don't care. Like, I don't yeah, but it's like when you update the phone, it, to me it just seems like it just starts messing up more and more. Yeah, well, because it's on purpose for the older versions to not work with the newer to force you to buy a new hardware because you're not spending money. If you don't spend money over these years, we need you to spend money. So that's yeah. a kind of a little thing that's called strategy or business. Ah, I guess that. that's why we're an iPhone. So what is business? Up? So we have our personal ethics, like when we're talking to each other, we talk to each other and the way we act with one another and all that. But then we have the businesses, the capitalists, like whatever that that we work with, we use or work with or or, or our customers of. Let's think of Nike. Nike made that shirt. There was a few years ago, they supposedly were slaving little kids to make that, but it was supposedly a distributor. Right. So what if I'm the owner of Nike and I go to the factory and I see everything's legit? 
So I'm like thinking that everything's legit. Then when I turn around and walk away, they outsource and have little slave labor do that. Now, am I bad? I'm the CEO. Am I? Is it? If, should I be? You ever watched the basketball? Yeah. You go back and you fix it. Right. Basketball, you guys never seen it? I've seen it. I've seen it. You never know, watch basketball? No, I haven't. It's funny. So the, the guy, the girl's like, this girl, the future girl, is like, um, into kids and stuff. And then they find out that his labor company from his team was little kids. So they were like, threatening him, like, we're going to stop all your stuff. So he went to the manufacturer and he started getting adults to work and then picked that up too. At the end of the day, it was a funny movie. Well, good, he fixed it. I mean, but that's exactly, you guys are seeing these movies because it's real life stuff, like this happens. Yeah, yeah. baseball, watch it. Baseball? <laughs> yeah, it's So it's a matter of like thinking really clearly and have these ingredients that are in some of these things that we use. Is it ethical that means it, that by law, as long as they're telling you on the label what it is, even though it's teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny, it's okay for it to be sold to you. Who's, whose responsibility is it to know if you're drinking poison? Ours. Ours. That's really my own. That's kind of right. What do you guys think about fluoride? Fluoride. Fluoride, okay, somebody, you're on the computer right there? You have access right there? Somebody who has access to something? Check, so yesterday somebody said to me that, no, we're gonna go back to the gas chamber now. Somebody said that fluoride was put in, uh, in the concentration camps so that the people were, uh, the Jews and the people in the concentration camps were more docile more docile and calm. They were like, they were like, whoosh, they drank fluoride or they gave put a lot of fluoride in their water. I don't know if anybody's ever heard that before. That's true. It's true? Coach? My father said it was true. Okay. Because he was in World War II. So your father who's there said it was true. He said it was true. To make it, so now we get, we all get a little bit of fluoride too. And in the water. Yeah, yeah. Oh. To make us a little bit more calm. Fluoride. Fluoride in our drinking water is a safe. Mineral fluoride is our community in our community's drinking water supplies have been debated ever since it was introduced back in the mid nineteen forties with the aim to prevent tooth decay. The evidence is mounting that in an era of fluoride toothpaste and other dental health consumer products that the potential risks <coughs> from consuming fluoride in water may outweigh the benefits. Many health concerns expressed by the opposition that have to to date been largely dismissed until recently. Last year, 2016, Harvard Public Health Magazine released an article outlining a worldwide study comparing countries that do not fluoride their water compared to countries that do also have seen this big drop in the rate of cavities. So the evidence, beginning in the early 20th century, scientists linked high levels of naturally occurring fluoride in certain communities water supplies to low levels of tooth decay. In 1945, Grand Rapids, Michigan became the first community in the world to add fluoride to tap water. While subsequent studies show a significantly lower rate of cavity in school children, water fluoride water fluoridation spread to other towns and cities um, for uh, disease control and prevention in community water fluoridation for at least 10 great public health achievements but many experts now question the scientific basis for the intervention in June 2015, a conference collaboration, a global independent network of researchers and healthcare professionals known for rigorous scientific research, reviews of public health policy, published an analysis of 20 key studies on water fluoridation. They found that while water fluoridation is effective in reducing tooth decay among children, no studies that aim to determine the effectiveness of water fluoridation for preventing uh, cavities in adults met the review conclusion. Right? We've also started brushing our teeth more since then. Yeah. His grandpa, I'll believe his grandpa over the <coughs> internet. I'll believe him over what his grandpa said over the internet any day. Any day. I have a mentor who's been to the North and South Pole who's like, all these people talking global warming, they've never even been to the North Pole or the right. South Pole. I've been to the North Pole. You've been to the North Pole? Me too. How's it look? It's uh, cold. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of ice. 
So he's saying I can go You ain't been there. You didn't been there. You didn't been there. So this is this is pro. But I'd like to know if those countries that don't use fluoride, if their population of people have more balls to stand up for their rights. Because some of us, if we're using fluoride and we're more calm and docile and calm and docile, then we're not standing up for our rights. We're just like, oh, no, 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 because we're drugs. Well, not, let's not even say that we are drugs. <laughs> and the other stuff in our food and all that other stuff. That yeah, programmed. Hmm? Programmed from way back then all the way through. Because we were programmed to, that it was what we needed in our toothpaste to use. If you want it without fluoride, you can go to a whole food store and get the ones without. They can have some like coconut one too. Exactly. I have that one. I have the charcoal one too. No, oh, do you? I have the charcoal buddy. one. Yeah. My buddy uses it all the time. I just don't know The deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes to the same with deodorant. There's a, something in there. Can get Aluminum. It. There you go. The, the Old Spice, I think, you burn their own herbs. They're actually in the for that. Yes. Old Spice did what? The, uh, like, some, you get irritation. Like, your yes. herbs turn red and it burns like... I had that. It, like, I used Old Spice. Like, it, yeah. Like it started yeah. running and I just yeah. switched the degree and it just, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, Old Spice, you're getting for you. So if that happens to you, you can get some conversation. Like, yeah. 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 Uh, of everything that we ingest and breathe and inhale and drink, it does something to our body. We have to be aware of our body enough to know what it's doing, right? Like Jonathan, you were going through like testing which foods are better for you to eat or not, right? Because you had an incident, like, but there's all these little, there's all these little incidents that are going on. You don't pay attention sometimes until a big incident happens. Then you have to, then you have to stop and be like, hey, what do I need to change? All these things are affecting my body somehow. It's medicine and it's food and pharmako is the Greek word for pharmako, pharmako is medicine, pharmaki is po poison. So it's very close to food, medicine, and do you guys know that garlic is a medicine and it's not a yes. food? Yeah. Yes. Garlic is, it, if we eat garlic every day, it'll mess with your nervous system. Yes. If people who have anxiety have garlic every day, they have anxiety because they're having garlic, plus all the Wi-Fi and the internet, or like all these other things. But garlic will add to that. To lower your blood pressure. Well, you just leave. Because I have acid yeah. reflux, I can't put oxygen out of the time. <laughs> but every time I have garlic, the, the next day, my God, I'm dying. I wake up dehydrated. Like, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, you still eat it. Come on, it's not as good. Like, you ever had garlic <laughs> Who's got any other more feedback about what we've discussed so far? Anything, anyone? There are communities that are reducing the use of uh, fluoride. Isn't our tap water? Yeah. yeah. We have a habit of brushing now, so it's not like, and nobody drinks, who drinks tap water? Some people do, but I mean, I drink water yeah. most. there's so many people that want, you know what, buying a bottle of water costs more than buying a gas? Yeah. Buying a bottle of water, cup and the bottled water thing is a scam sham too, yeah, probably. Free water but I mean, out of the tap, sure, I drink tap water. Yeah, I think so. What's the best water? Um, out of my fridge. I don't know. Yeah. I have an extra filter on my fridge. They're, they're uh, starting to promote alkaline water a lot, or like yes. alkaline yeah. foods a lot. Alkaline water, then there's the one that says there's not alkaline. enough minerals in it, then there's the people who say they drink distilled water. Well, there, there's another guy, I know, like, I got a referral to another guy in, in uh, Huntington Beach, or he's somewhere in Orange County, he's got, like, this whole, like, spiel against the alkaline water and goes towards this other water. Yeah, it's like, they, everybody has their opinions, right? So, but, is everything right, is everything right for everybody? No. Right? So it, it, it's like a matter of knowing yourself, knowing yourself and what's right for you and yourself. Right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The alkaline water wasn't giving me headaches, so like, you too much. <laughs> well, you might have not had minerals. You might have been flushing your minerals out, too. You might have needed the salt and the electrolytes to balance out. Yeah, I think that's what it was. How much water I get? And then, uh, it doesn't even matter. Like, my, my, uh, my friend, he, he has like a little water thing. And he's telling me that I can drink that water. Yeah. You 
cannot take pills with it because they'll like double it. Oh, those I don't even take medicine. That type of water? Yeah, the alkaline water. Okay. Okay, so there's some people who have like issues with drinking a lot of water, but we're made up of water, and we get water kind of helps us keep going. So I, I mean, I. I'd like to I'd like to hear from somebody who has like water uh, who really can't drink water for some reason. I'd like to find that person. So I don't drink water at all. I don't drink water. But why? Nice. Can, you, no, yeah, no, it, it makes my head hurt. Like, plain I, I drink, water. Plain water, like I go in there grab one from the right there, and I drink it and I, my head will start pounding. Can it's you put cold water? It's just, cold it could be water, water, warm, anything. Can it you put lemon in it? I've uh, never done it like that. But. Never? Exactly. This is just a bunch of water in his whole life. <laughs> what else do you You're like? Some water right now? <laughs> what else do you like? Look at how much water I drink. That's a 64 ounce. Uh, that's, a 30, that's a 32. That's a 32. Yeah, yeah, 40, 40. My, it's a 40. It's a 40. It's a 40. You got a 40, I got a 64 ounce. Right, we in here giving it up for water. It takes too long all day. I really, I can't. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you? I tried it, but it's like. Do you drink sweet beverages? All the time. Though. What kind? Kool-Aid. How to do? Coke, Sprite, wow. Gatorade, yeah. nothing but water. water. No water. No you, water? You or just or him? No, him. Mm -hmm. Frank Ryan. Love him. Okay. Do you ever um do you ever eat pancakes or waffles? Oh yeah. Yeah. Dip it in uh, chocolate. Yeah, sure. Like that hard chocolate. I like the waffle dip. Like I like it with ice cream on top. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. What yeah. you fruit cocktail too? So yeah, then, yeah. so what kind of, do you put maple syrup on it or the fake, the fake? No, maple syrup. Do you I really buy maple syrup? No, it's not the real one. It's, it's, it's the syrup. It's just the, the granny one? Yeah. Uh, the real, the one that says real Jemima. maple syrup. It's like a glass jar. <laughs> it's in a glass jar. I, I get, it's sometimes a, my it's, right Why don't next time you guys are in the, in the grocery store, can you look and see which, what maple syrup is maple syrup? And then what's the other stuff? How about the sugar-free one? Does it taste different? It's like water it tastes better because it tastes better because it's not yeah. high fructose corn syrup, yeah. right? So, for those of you who are having trouble drinking water, you can. This is what I do sometimes when I when I want water and I want soda. I just pour. I pour the maple syrup. I put ice, maple syrup, lemon, and water. And you can put more maple syrup if you want because then it's like soda. But at least it's maple syrup sweet. What about the car? Like, like I don't care about that. I'm in the, I'm just, I want them, but I'd rather get them from the maple syrup than get them from okay. the high fructose corn syrup. The real maple Is that syrup. what you like more out of the, uh, the Would soda? Would you drink I that? The bubbles are the syrup. I, I just like soda, bro. Try it, bro. You like the bubbles? So then you can take water that's fizzy, the fizzy water, put uh, maple uh, syrup in that, uh, uh, and put some lemon in that. Would you like the water and the syrup? <laughs> <laughs> Try the plain fuzzy water. Do you ever buy the plain fuzzy water? Pour some maple syrup. I'll do that. I'll pour maple syrup right in the can. I'll drink a little, and then I'll pour maple syrup in the can. We should try it. Should some some we should try it. We should get some. What day is it? We can go for next Thursday. Oh, no, next Thursday. Next Thursday. Yeah. I'll bring a sample for you. I'm gonna you cut our camera. Does that make your stomach hurt? Or is We're ending on a. <laughs> on solutions to have water. Everybody say happy today, happy every day. Happy, 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 happy every day. Oh. Here, let's, let's, let, your 40 ounce and mine, let's just, oh, okay. just ching ching it. Let's ching oh, ching, oh, ching oh, it right oh, here. We, oh, we drank it up oh, in here, oh, you know. Oh, See that 4 0, oh, right? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> 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 Gotta keep it up. H2O all day.